Hi, this is Cody Krasicki with FacebookMarketing.com. It's good to see you guys this evening, Saturday, around 5.30 in the evening. Just wanted to do a uh, quick video on how you direct target market uh, your Facebook ad page uh, by using Google Insights and Google Trends to find uh, groups and businesses that already exist um, in particular towns or countries, uh, different cities, states. Uh, so what you're doing is you're able to search by demographic and you're able to search by hot keywords and rising searches uh, on the internet and even see what time periods the cycles happen if there is even a cycle and uh, that's what we're going to teach you today in uh, the next three or four minutes so to get started you want to go to google.com and type in insights or insights for search <clears throat> once you've opened up the page type in a keyword that pertains to your business. We want to focus on young investors and young entrepreneurs because this kind of stuff interests them and along with the businesses we invest in such, in fa or such as Facebook and marketing.com So young investor is our search term. It shows the trends declined over time dramatically and will continue to decline into the future so it may not be the best niche to go ahead and advertise but for all purposes this is being used to demonstrate how to use Google Insights and Google Trends to direct market any ad page. So we'll also notice down here that the United States and the United Kingdom have the most regional interest for the particular subject uh, that we're going to use to find uh, people in what happens to be the United States and the United Kingdom. It could be China and Africa, um, South America, Australia. Right here we have our search terms. These are the hottest search terms for anything regarding young investor. So if we would type in, if we were selling um, let's see, if we were selling selling silverware through our website we'll know to sell silver silverware we'll, be, we'll know to sell flatware we'll know to sell Rogers particular silverware we can even go ahead and click further into this United States and Canada like the Rogers Silverware, so you know if your target market's in the United States, you should be selling Rogers Silverware without a question, because the statistics say you should. And the purpose over here is you should advertise Rogers Silverware, because if people, if it's a trending thing here in the United States and Canada, then people will most likely end up liking it, even if they don't know what it is yet. Uh, it also tells you what kinds of Rogers silverware uh, values but anyway let's move on let's move to trends you're able to look up let's say the websites about investing such as Krasiki Ventures is we can go ahead and look up the cities that investing is most popular We also have languages and the regions um, that are most popular. You can also click into Singapore and see what cities it's most popular in. Um, not all cities will show up uh, if they're not incredibly popular. They have to be pretty popular to show up on a particular list, such as sub-regions over here. There's four of them comparative to the one we just saw. You'll be able to even click it and it'll tell you the keywords in that town if the topic is trending enough. 
Uh, the charts are pretty self-explanatory. But anyway, how do you use all this for marketing yourself on Facebook? We know that it's not particularly a good thing if you want to advertise it. It's not a particularly a good thing if you plan on making money off of teaching people because interest has gone down over time. But if you happen to want to market them, like I said in the past, for all purpose of an example, we take Young Investor Fund. And we'd come back over here and then we'd search for it. If there's nothing, we'll cut it down. And now we found young investors. We're going to go ahead and copy our URL and then go back over here to young investors. Groups you have to be invited to, pages you can just join. Uh, so it's easier to post on a, um, on a page than a group because all you have to do to post on a page is you normally have to like it but not all the time so what we do is, is we post it in some websites don't allow links though so we'll look for another one because it's a waste we'll check out this group see you have to join the group so now what we'll do is we'll type in same thing again but we'll display it pages display before groups do we'll check this one out oh it's a group too as you can see Singapore is a very hot place as you can tell from these pages that keep popping up this foreign language is at the very top. Alright, there we go. Don't try to sell them anything. Check out our politically correct posting video. So, now we know that our post is in an area where it happens to be very popular right now. And we know that for a fact because young investors are, you know, top search, good keyword. And then uh, over here, we know that Singapore happens to be popping through the roof. Uh, as a language, uh, English is spoken by a lot of people over in Singapore. I have quite a few friends over in Singapore. But anyway, this is direct marketing uh, for your Facebook ad page using Google Insights and Google Trends.